So I think revalidate path, this function here may be dead. I know it was working for me when it first came out with the new API route handlers, but they seem to not work. I did just make a video about how the path function in their documentation doesn't work. I had to change it to request.nextURL.pathName to get the correct path to be used in the revalidate function. But this doesn't seem to be working for me in uh, production anymore. What I did find is a new documentation about route segment configuration. These functions here can be used inside of a route. And what I found out was in uh, my route, if I put an export const revalidate true above my route handler, so not inside of it, but above it, that works in production. It does work. So if I set that to true, whenever I get data from a particular screen, it does uh, update the data. And I found out there's all these other uh, functions too. Um, there's a dynamic const, dynamic params, revalidate, fetch cache runtime, uh, preferred region, max duration. And then if you come down here, it shows you how each of these actually work. And there's different options for each of these. So these all, as far as I know, are related to caching how to uh, exactly set up your caching correctly. Um, this seems to be the new way that they're doing this, caching, uh, managing your caching with your websites. I know this is probably very frustrating. It's been very frustrating for me. They keep changing how you cache data and how you update data, but I'm hopeful that this is gonna be the official way. We'll see, we'll find out. Maybe in a few weeks, I'll make another video about how they've changed it yet again. But as far as I know, this is working and I'll put this link in the description below. Let me know your reactions, your feelings about all the changes in the comments below. Uh, let me know if this fixed uh, any issues that you had with caching. Let me know if this actually works for you in production. And if it doesn't uh, and you find out a different way to fix caching in production, let us know in the comments below as well. Again, this link is in the description below. Uh, and I'll put a, a playlist on the screen that uh, goes through all the the things I've learned about API route handlers with Next.js 13. Um, there's a lot that isn't in their documentation. I've just kind of had to learn through trial and error. So if you're learning API route handlers for the first time, I encourage you to watch all of those videos. It'll be super informative. They're short and to the point. If you like this video, don't forget to like the video. Subscribe, hit the bell icon to be notified when more videos come out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.